All right, here for match four, I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna lead with Korean Ranger. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm facing Boo Black. All right. Uh, I'll just lead off with my Vault Scourge. Don't really want to get blanked by an Augur, so I'm going to start with the Flyer. Alright. Uh, I'll just attack. I think I'll play the Nest Invader. If he has Daze, I still get to play Burning Shamusary next turn. Oh, just straight up counter. Interesting. Augur Bolas. <sighs> All right. Brainstorm. Mongrel. You know what? I'm just going to play around days. Whatever. I think this match will go long, so not in a huge rush. <sighs> yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what my opponent does. My opponent's playing a counter spell list. Counter spell's not great against me. My opponent also didn't daze my nest invader. But he might be thinking daze is better. He also might just be playing fewer dazes in general. Either way, I think that I can play around it, which is why I did. But we'll see. At some point, I'll probably have to play into it. But maybe he also shuffles it away. So hopefully you can see why Vines isn't very good. It's just hard to hold up. And having it basically means that their their dazes are going to be on. So I'm just going to set them out a lot. Or I'm going to set, set them all out. So I guess it's kind of good that you saw them in my deck. Because he'll be like, OK, this person's playing Vines. Yeah. This is all. This is also why Renegade Freighter, Freighter isn't that good. It's just like a little bit clunky, but it's not that bad because they can attack into get anglers. But the only plan is to involve not attacking into anglers at all. So I think it's still good enough to keep in. It's pretty good against Boros.
So, uh, we'll see. Does a shuffle? So he definitely has Echoing Decays. He probably has at least two or three, three in his deck. So we'll see if he decides to play it. Preordain. Looks like he's just going to drop a Gurmag. Gurmag isn't that big of a deal. Mainly just because it's going to be hard for him to attack with it. If I have all these creatures threatening to hit him on the swing back. Another card that will be scary is Tormund Geist. So yeah, he has to choose between Gurmag and Echoing Decay this turn. Alright, goes for the Gurmag. I'd like to see that. Gurmag definitely matters much less. Especially because I'm, I actually just have lifelink. Alright, I'm still going to play around Echoing Decay in the other way, which is I'm not going to play two Burning Tree Emissaries. Just threaten to hit hard on the crackback. Alright, get Action Probe. So he's going to play, he's going to pay life. Doesn't pay life. All right, another auger. Gush. Okay. So I think I'll just plan on protecting this Vault Scourge. Alright, especially if he doesn't attack. Alright, so he will probably need to drop a Stormbound guys pretty soon. Alright, Preordain. He probably still has to spell though, so that's kind of a scary card to, to worry about. cards on top, so Delver's going to flip. That's fine. Alright, and foil.
Another auger. All right, echoing decay. Oh, sure. Hmm. Well, this is opening me up for days. Maybe I just let that happen. Nest Invader. Alright, so he's going to hit me down with Delver for a little bit. I basically will be waiting to draw one of my equipment. I have like 10 turns to draw something. So I, this could be either be Longbow or Torch or another Rancor. Yeah, so I have time here. Ooh, Rancor. That's probably... So Rancor is... almost a must counter. I'll just still hold on. I mean, basically, I'm just going to take, take hits from Delver until I find something that I can use. That would be good. Another Mongrel? Sure. Another Delver. Alright, I know he has a foil. Hmm. I guess I'll just start trading. Trading through with my mongrel. Oh, start trading three anglers. All right.
So I know I use the foil and potentially one removal spell. Which one do I want? Foil removal, foil removal. Let's put on the mongrel. All right. Gosh. Okay. Good. Good draw for him. My best card is Quarian Ranger here. If I draw it, I think I should be in good shape. Action probe. Drops another angler. Let's just kill another angler here. And let's just play this pit skulk. Let's see if he has a snuff out here. No snuff out. Okay. So Pit Skulk is potentially lethal. I know he does have a foil, so that's something I have to look out for. Again, Quirin will be a really good draw. Longbow would also be a good draw. Another Jelver, sure. So I'm probably just going to be dead next turn, so I kind of just have to go for it. Ooh, Crane Ranger, sick. Foil. Does that mean that he's a snuff out? He must have a snuff out. Ooh, another foil. Hmm. So I'm probably just dead. Yeah, if it flips, I'm dead. Ah, all right, brutal. Brutal. <laughs> all right, all right. Whew. 
All right, so that was good. I think uh, I'm setting up vines. As I talked about, my plan involves blazing torches. And I think um, some more creatures are good. Scattershot's OK. And I think longbow is decent. I think I can set out this Renegade Freighter. So I haven't tried this plan against Blue Black yet. So not entirely sure how good this is. Hmm. I think they put in shrivels and stuff, which is obviously scary in a way. Four blazing torches. Uh, I think Renegade Freighter will be fine. Two longbows. I think if I have any more longbows, they might be able to just kill all my creatures. I already have a lot of equipment. Hmm. This is the first time I'm trying this siding out vines plan, but we'll see. We'll see if it works. I didn't see any snuff outs, so maybe my opponent isn't playing any. All right, I'm not going to play around days. There's Blazing Torch. Definitely an interesting card. <laughs> Again, not playing around days. That's fine. Alright, and I'll just kill the Delver here. Doesn't even flip. So it's just gonna die. Good. <laughs> Dispel. Ha! Set it on all my vines. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna just kill Delver right now. See if he has snuff out. Nah. Nah. Hmm. Do I want to give up that much tempo? I don't think so. Blazing Torch. <laughs> I thought it was probably thinking, dude, this guy has some sick tech. Mm. Has some very sick tech. <laughs> Hmm. 
He's very dead. <laughs> uh, man, love it when a plan comes together. All right, it's desperation gush. <sighs> wow, look at that. Ugh, love it when a plane comes together. All right. Sick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call that he conceded to a blazing torch. So, <laughs> hmm, we'll see. Whew. I think he might not have stuff out. So yeah, I feel good about setting up vines. I think literally the fact that he showed me that dispel justified my decision. All right, I think I still like my longbows. Can still keep it at two. I think it's still like more torches than longbows. Yeah, let's still try to keep it like this. All right. I'm going to keep this hand, I think. So is this just an echoing decay? Yep. All right. Hmm. Let me just play some bone splitters. Definitely fortunate I'm missing land drops, but what can you do? All right, blister pod. Let's go. Spell. Sure. Time to drop some anglers. Properly. And if I don't draw. If I don't draw a land, I'll be in rough shape. All right, come on, land. Ooh, there we go. He probably has days, but I'm okay with him dazing uh, Burning Shrimp series because I have a lot more and. I would like to play around Echoing Decay if possible. All right, let's try another Burning Tree Emissary. I'm gonna have to take one more hit. Going to K Nessimator, sure. I'm gonna maybe sided out Delvers.
No, he didn't. <laughs> Alright. Probably need to chump with the Altrazi token. Hmm. Alright. I have no time to play around Equine Decay anymore. Foil. All right. Yeah, I can't play around with Queen Decay. I just kind of have to go for it. Your prey doesn't flip. All right, he flips. <laughs> I'm gonna chump with a spawn token and try to race him. If he has a queen to I'm obviously just dead, but he's already used two. Best card to draw would obviously be Quinn Ranger. Alright. Another Delver. Alright, if this flips, I'm dead. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm still just dead anyways. Like I said, I should have thrown away a burning tree to deal to deal some extra damage. Alright, no flip. Yeah, I should have thrown away a burning tree to deal extra damage there, I think. Alright, so now I need a torch. And for him to not flip the other Delver. <laughs> that card isn't great against me because of Crane Ranger. I need a torch. Torch. Ugh, brutal. Alright, well, I think uh, if, I had a, if I had the land drop earlier, I would have been fine. So could have used a torch. Uh, yeah, that's it for... And Chris Chain is kind of bad. But, um... Yeah. Torch is great. <laughs> uh, unfortunate loss here. Missed a land drop early, and... Yeah. Um, I'm just say, I think... Uh, the hand just didn't light up. So, alright, GG's.